How do y'all move the Lex lives? I think it's time we play a little Seven Days to Die. Maybe. We'll try. I don't know. It's, it's been pretty annoying today. I am... The phone will not stop ringing today. I bet... I bet I've received... I'll go a whole week. And only get like two phone calls because we don't use the phone. And I'll bet I've gotten 15 calls today. It's driving me crazy. Uh, and then when I went to pause the game to uh, wait for the pointless phone call uh, to uh, go to the answering machine, because again, caller ID. So if I don't, I don't recognize your number, I don't answer the phone. And uh, it went to the answering machine, and then the person goes, "Hello." Hello? Hello? Dude, it said leave a message after the beep. It's not hard to understand. I thought I had picked up some charred meat. Did I eat that already? Hey man, I'm trying to open this safe. This arm is spraying stuff is ridiculous. My arm is spraying because I punch people. On top of that, I'm hungry and thirsty. I really did just pick up some charred meat. I didn't think I'd eaten it. Uh, so, this week we played some Starfinder. Um, uh, so give a little recap since, uh, you know, we don't play every other week and it's been a while. Um, Starfinder is like a sci-fi version of D&D. And so um, the players uh, got a job to take people to a research station, some scientists. So they flew them out in their ship uh, to the station. Um, the station researches this portal called the Far Portal. Uh, when they um, send expeditions through, it drops them in an uncharted area of the Plane of Fire because it's D and D, right? So it's like, it's like D and D is like fantasy, right? And so this is like the fantasy world continued into an area of sci-fi. So there's both technology and magic, and um, so there's still things like giants and goblins and all that stuff. But there's also spaceships and you know, laser guns. <laughs> and, um, so, um, you get the plane of fire being a portal that a space station researches. Uh, and so, uh, nothing's ever come out of the portal, uh, that wasn't sent in in the first place. Uh, so while you're there, something does come out of the portal and it's a ship, uh, and the ship is being chased by a giant space whale creature. And uh, since you're the only ship docked with the station, they beg you to go out and do something about it. And so they flew out, um, fought the whale. Uh, took a while, because they're level one. You got one gun on your ship. Um, and, uh, uh, you know, and everything's got shields, so it takes a long time to break through shields when you've only got one gun. Uh, on top of that, the gunner was having a bad day, a couple of bad days, and couldn't roll high enough to uh, to hit the thing. So that's how it goes sometimes. So it took us a while to get through it. 
Uh, of course, the one guy is super annoying about it, and uh, uh, the guy who DMs the other week, um, he wants to do all the things. He doesn't want anybody else to ever do anything. It's all about him, always. And so he was not pleased that the gunner was unable to roll high enough to hit things. And then went on a multi-week complaint in our Discord about how maybe his guy should be the gunner because his guy, the engineer, who's the only one who can do engineering stuff, really, because nobody else specced into it um, since he chose to be an engineer. Ugh, I'm not going into that safe. It's just not happening. Um... Here you go, buddy. I found some pears. Oh, uh, this is going the wrong direction. I did. I just... Mm, I must have eaten it. I just looted burnt meat from Eric's stuff. And then we just came out of the sheriff's office. Well, the general store here. Oh, this looks like a saloon, not a store. Wow, I'm surprised there wasn't a bad guy in there. Does it say general on it? Oh. No, down here is the general store. This is one of those uh, multi-connected structures. We'll have to go through the inside. So, um, after that, they... Uh, Ended up um, they ended up uh, uh, the ship that came through the portal stopped moving and so they went to investigate the ship and so uh, uh, I'm playing a character too so I guess we we boarded the ship and then the last couple of sessions we have been exploring the ship. Uh, and so the, the first session, I think this was the third session in there. So in the first session, um, ew, pocket mod. Uh, so in the first session, they got in there and they bumped into a weird creature uh, who said it would grant their wishes. Um, really, it was just a crazy creature that was magically spawned into existence like minutes before they met it. <laughs> and so it, it doesn't have any powers. Um, in fact, it's, it's kind of crazy. And, uh, and so they um, ignored it and went into the engine compartment. And then that was where we finished that session. Cause I think they, I think they beat the whale and then moved into the ship in the same session. And then the uh, the next session, uh, they explored more of the ship. Um, there was a, a loud, uh, a loud banging sound that turned out to be a lava elemental um, that was trying to break down some doors uh, in the in the ship, and. Um, And then, um, um, so they killed that, and then they went into the kitchen where they got attacked by fire elementals that were, I assume, being used to power the stoves because they were in the stoves when they got there. I don't, I don't remember what the book said, um, since I'm the one running the Starfinder campaign. And so, um, so they fought that and, uh, it's, it's not, it's kind of rough going, honestly, we're, we're getting hammered pretty hard by some of these things, um, because we're level one and, you know, level one is weak. All right, well, I don't see anything else going on here.
And um, so uh, last night we started there uh, after having just defeated the um, fire elementals and uh, and then they um, listen man I've been eating every piece of food that I find I can't do much more than that I'm sorry what does this say the swines and this says right I've been in there I feel like this looks like an elevator, um, which is what you call a place where they deal with uh, grain. Although being called the swines, I also expect there to be pigs here. It's like a feed lot kind of thing. There are not pigs here. I thought that might be a, a false floor leading down. Oh, that's better than the one I got. I don't want this club. So, um, the very first thing they do is they open the door uh, in the room. They're in the galley. So they open the door from the galley into the uh, barracks or the bunk room or whatever it's called and uh, that room had taken enough damage uh, in the fight to have a hole in the wall that uh, immediately required a roll to um, a roll to uh, see if they could not get sucked into the room by the uh, vacuum of outer space. I guess you don't get sucked, you get blown, right? Uh, blown into the room by the vacuum of outer space. And, um, uh, right, because the air, higher air pressure moves to the lower air pressure. That's why it's blown instead of sucked, even though it's a vacuum. Um, so, Anyways, uh, basically we all failed, and uh, we took a lot of damage. It was, it was a bad trap. We only had to roll a 15. I have a plus 6, so I only had to get a 9 or higher. Um, I rolled a 7. Uh, I'm like, oh. So, uh, you know, you slam to the wall, you take damage. Um, the... Uh, the engineer uh, has a drone with him, and uh, the drone slammed in the wall as well and got destroyed because it, I think we took 11 damage uh, the first round, and then the um, the uh, uh, Technomancer um, failed his roll the second round. Uh, and slammed into the wall as well, and he took 12 damage. Um, the rest of us hadn't moved, so we didn't take any damage from being slammed into a wall. Um, and then the engineer managed to roll a, a natural 20 um, on his repair check, and so since he had the appropriate equipment on him, was able to patch the hole, uh, stopping us from being held against the wall. Uh, and, uh, and so then we proceeded from there to, um, search, uh, search some more of the ship, and, um, eventually we made it, uh, across the other side of the ship, and, uh, found, uh, locked doors we couldn't open, uh, we tried, but nobody could roll high enough to, to get through it. And then, um, then, um, we, okay, you know, I went around this place. Did I make it into this gun store? I don't think I did. 
This gun store has got bars on the windows. I can't I can't get in there. I needed to cross through farther, I guess. Let me try this again. Looked like there was a way from the outside, uh, which I didn't do. So we'll go around and in and down, I guess. Yeah, here we go. Yeah, yeah. I miss this whole store here. Ooh. Another armor mob. So, uh, anyways, uh, uh, we uh, made it into this laboratory. And, oh, I can use that. And uh, the engineer um, wanted to go check out this. No, I hit three, not one. Wanted to go check out this um, silver liquid. And uh, and so when he got there, he got attacked because the silver liquid was actually an assembly thing, uh, assembly ooze, and uh, and so it attacked. And oh man, I got too much stuff. And. Um, So, uh, with the, uh, we've defeated the assembly ooze, and then, oh, that's a large gun rack, I see. And, uh, and so then after we defeated the assembly ooze, uh, then we found the boss of the, of the ship, which was, uh, searching for something. I don't actually know what they were searching for, but they couldn't find it. And so we defeated them, which was a tough fight. Let me tell you, the uh, the um, melee guy got knocked unconscious like three times during the fight. And so the uh, engineer, he's he's uh, wanted to be the medic and the engineer and the gunner and everything else possible, um, because why should anybody else get to participate? Uh, and so um, he had to use up all his healing stems, keeping the tank on his feet. Not much of a tank, because none of us can use heavy armor. Uh, hey, I went up a little. And so, um, so yeah, it was a pretty tough fight. And, uh, and then we defeated that, and then uh, looted the place. Got some decent items, I guess, for... I didn't have any armor. I couldn't afford it. Uh, when you start the game, you um, you get so much money, and then you use that money to equip your character. And by the time I was done buying weapons because of my character type, uh, I wanted to get a couple different things. I wanted a rifle, uh, and then I wanted um, a knife because I'm a operative which is kind of like their thief and so to be able to do certain special moves you have to have special equipment it's not even special equipment I, I just i had to have a basic knife that had the operative tag on it and i had to have a small arms weapon with the operative tag on it so i could do their special attack and then um I wanted a sniper rifle because it seemed cool. Uh, and so by the time I did all that, I was out of money. <laughs> uh, and then, um, man, you know what? It's going to be nighttime real quick here. I guess I'm just going to try and crawl home. So, uh, yeah, so we finished the ship. We took it back to the space station and uh got a reward for bringing it back in uh found a message that was really weird about uh someone trying to seize control of the sun maybe and um which is the plot of the game and so uh yeah it was uh it was mostly a good night uh, uh 
obviously I gotta talk about the the other DM guy and his inability to play friendly. Uh, he um he wasn't listening to anyone last night. Like crazily bad not listening to anyone. And he would ask me a question and then I would answer him. And I'll admit my uh, my current internet setup does uh, have some voice issue problems because of the blockage from the trees because um, I still still haven't gotten the equipment to move it so there's no uh, obstacles. Um, and so occasionally I have a dip out uh, internet wise like a second or two long. And so I'll have to repeat myself. Um, but he would ask something and then I would answer it. And then he like 20 seconds later would ask the same question again. Uh, I honestly feel like he was doing something else while we were playing last night. Uh, like me and the other, other players would have a discussion about something. He would chime in, uh, occasionally on that discussion and then people would roll to find out what was going on with whatever it is they were looking at. And then we would start moving to something else. And then he'd be like, hey, I want to look at this thing. And we're like, dude, 20 seconds ago, we looked at that thing. What do you mean? Uh, he's like, no, this thing. Like, yeah, you were part of the discussion on looking at that thing. I already told you what the deal was with that thing. Um, uh, uh the uh the uh, uh uh and i've told stories about his about his play style before about how he's afraid that his character will get even looked at funny and uh and so he um we reached a point at the end after everything's done there's a pile of ash and some equipment laying next to a computer console uh, on the deck of the ship. I shouldn't have fight this guy. It's too close to nighttime. Yeah, I might be able to take him before it gets nighttime. Yeah, okay. I, I didn't realize how slow time was moving here. And, uh, and so there's a blinking light on the console and he asks me if he can roll some kind of check to see what he can figure out about it and so I'm like yeah sure roll an engineering check and uh, and so he rolls the engineering check and I'm like um, while you can't read any of the words the light does seem to indicate an emergency message um, that someone has left in the communications console right <laughs> um, and uh, and so then uh, then everybody just goes silent. And I'm like, oh, did I have a dip? I'm like, no. I'm like, so what do you guys want to do? And they're like, uh, the other two guys are like, well, I don't know if I want to mess with something I don't understand. And I'm like, well, it's it's just a communications console. You recognize it as a communications console. Um, and this light just indicates like a recording um, that you could listen to. Or in this case, watch, because it was a hologram recording. And, uh, and I'm like... Um, well, maybe we should have the, the engineer check it. And I'm like, well, that's fine. Uh, he already rolled his check, and this is what you know. You can't read the words because they're not in a language any of you understand. Um, but his understanding of how ship systems work and what they would be, because they're fairly universal, this is a communications console. It's just a recorded message. And they're like, oh, okay. And then there's a pause again for like five seconds. Uh, and I'm like, so what are you guys going to do? And like, well, I don't want to mess with it. And then, <laughs> and then the engineer guy goes, so can I check to see if I can know what that blinking light is? And I'm like, dude, we just had like a, minute long conversation about that blinking light and how it's a recorded message left in the communications console. You rolled a check for it. Like, did you not listen to the answer after you rolled your check? Like, what's going on? I don't understand. Just... And he's like, 
Is there any way I can tell if it's safe or not? I'm like, well, it's just a communications console. It's not... It's just a blinking light that indicates a recorded message that you can listen to. I, I already told you. And uh, he's like, well, I don't want to mess with it if it's dangerous. I'm like, I just told you. It's just a recorded message. I, I don't know what more you want from me. I, I just don't. He's like, well, I mean, I guess if there's no way for me to check. I'm like, you you already checked. I already gave you the answer. You rolled really high. What What is going on here? Did I have a... Did I go into a coma? I don't understand. What what are you guys talking about? He rolled his check. I gave you the answer. You indicated you heard the answer. You responded to me saying things to you, and now nobody wants to check the message? You you boarded an alien ship. You can't find the pilot. There's a dead pile of ash here standing next to the next to the communications console. Uh the ash is mixed in with a suit of armor, uh, some pistols, uh, a blackened collar of some kind, um, all mixed in with the ash pile. Um, it looks like somebody probably got consumed and turned to ash. Oh, jeez. And there's a message from him. I think we should just go. I'm like, guys, it's just a recorded message. Just. You don't want to watch the recorded message that might tell you what happened on this ship? I... <laughs> What's going on here? Like... Uh, but yeah, so that part was driving me crazy. Uh, I know, like, uh, uh, the uh, attack against the Assembly Ooze, which is basically a slime, uh, the um, engineer was right next to it. when it, This is a thing that drives me crazy. So he's like, I want to go check this thing out. And I'm like, okay, so I move him next to it. And then when combat start, starts... He immediately moves his guy a couple spaces away. I'm like, no, you were next to it when the fight activated. You're still next to it. Uh, he's like, well, I don't know if I'd have been next to it. I'm like, you checked it out. That was, that's what triggered the combat. Was you poking at it? Like, what do you mean? I don't know if you'd have been next to it. You're the one who said you wanted to check it out. This is not how the game works. I <laughs> Leave your guy alone. Put him where he goes. Stop messing with him. It's not your turn to move things. Okay. Uh, but yeah. Alright. Well, I made it back. I'm surprised I made it back alive. I don't have any food, though. So I am... Uh, Oh, I do have a point, and I can put it in um, food, right? Um, I don't remember what food's under. Here it is, Master Chef. All right. Bacon and eggs. There we go. All right, well, with that, I'm going to call it a day. So be bearing the small things. Lean to the light. I will talk to you later.